Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hope you've all had a really amazing couple of days at Mortic Conference Global. Give us some emojis if you've had a great time the last couple of days at the event. Awesome. Good to see. So Eki and I are just going to close the event um, with a few stats and a little bit of information and a very, very exciting announcement right at the end. So if your pals are not in this session, tell them they should get in this session because they're going to miss some really exciting news. So this event in stats for the for the stats geeks of you. We have had 170 attendees booking tickets to attend the event. We've had about a 71% attendance rate, which is actually not bad for online events. It's pretty good. 47 sessions and 33 speakers. So really amazing. And also this year, we've had three languages, English, uh, Japanese, and German, which has been great. We've managed to raise 1,656 at the last counting for Maltic through the ticket sales and about 1,500 through sponsorship, which is also really awesome. And we've had a worldwide audience, literally. So this map shows you places where we've had people purchasing tickets from to attend this event when they've told us uh, their location. So you can see it's like all over the place that we've had uh, people attending. I bet these people would not attend if it was an in-person event. So it's just so great and it just reinforces the importance for us of having these online events for our world conference so that it's that much more accessible to people. So thank you for coming. We hope you've had a great time and it's been great to, to get to know you all. We had some prizes. So you might have seen the big flares go up a minute ago when I closed the leaderboard because I forgot. Uh, so congratulations to Sarah. Sara Souza, Ram Kumar LK, and Carsten Iverman. So you three have won the prizes for the leaderboard, which are swag vouchers for the swag store. So we'll drop you an email with the codes that you can use for the swag store. If you haven't visited the swag store, just search for Mortic Swag Store in your favorite search engine, um, and that will come up. And you'll be able to buy all of your Mortic swag from T-shirts to hoodies to socks and pajamas to kids outfits and mouse mats and phone cases. Everything you could ever want. And posters of the event, of course. So we have a few thank yous to say. And I'm going to hand over to Eki for this one. Yeah, I was uh, fascinated to, th to learn that we have post-its. But I think I... I misheard. It's posters, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Um, this multi conference, like any other multi conference, does not fall from the sky. It is a ton of work, and I'm mm. very happy that we managed to to put it on more shoulders this time. Uh, last year, it was really <laughs> majority of the work on on Ruth, uh, good deal on mine, and th then some some people assisting here and there. This time. We actually had uh, sub teams uh, and team leads, specifically Madeleine for the program team and Leon for the design team, were great volunteers. It turned out that they were not only leading the team but also had a lot of work to do. Um, so they were they had great roles. Myself, I um, I'm the community team lead where where the Mordic conference is part of. So I I was well. I had some work to do, uh, some some supervision too, and and still Ruth had a bunch of work under on on her shoulders. Um, now the actual team was much more than just the team leads, and on all these nice people um, timed or, or stepped stepped uh, up and uh, helped out here and there. Mostly our team lead or track leads yesterday and today. We couldn't have done this event without you. There were some some last minute changes, but but we always found a solution, and we can could always rely on you folks. So thank you very much to all of you. Um, by the way, I want to mention one one person specifically, and that's Katsueno uh, Katsan in in Japan, um, who due to the uh, time zone, but also to the language uh, gap, had to organize the Japanese part of the conference pretty much on his own. Um, so thanks for taking there, taking care of that once again, Katz, and uh, good job. 
Um, and then um, the other team members um, or the, the other contributor, contributors to this event were mostly in the marketing team. But I want to start, start with the sponsors team, with, with uh, Steve, who was very enthusiastic about talking to people in the Americas, and Mohammed, uh, basically covering the rest of the world and, and reaching out to former sponsors, to potential new sponsors. Uh, as I said in the opening, it is too bad that we were not able to find more sponsors, and I sure hope that's going to be better in the future because the the, an event like this just requires financial contribution by companies, by corporations. Um, the marketing team has done a tremendous job, not only in, in uh, communication and, and uh, sending out emails and sending out social media messages, etc., but also put a lot of work, in, in, in work into creating content and Google ads. Uh, not everything went smoothly and we, we, we never stopped learning. Uh, but it was fantastic and very motivating to, to see those people doing their job and, and working together across many, many countries. And um, that's basically what, what sticks, uh, that, that working as a team is, is a fun experience and, and getting better every time is part of the story. Um, so thanks to all of you on this sheet. And... Um, Last but not least, I want to say, thank uh, Leon in the design team uh, with uh, the people who did the video production mostly. Um, we had very, very nice uh, transition slide or transition videos, countdown videos. I did like the, the one best that you chose for this one, Ruth, uh, but I think they're all very professional. And uh, Leon did, did much more. He did the design for the Amid and um, for all the conference material, et cetera. And uh, he's not a designer, he's a modding integrator, but, but uh, wow, he dis discovered a new facet of himself. So, so thumbs up, Leon. Ah, and then of course, um, the speakers. Um, and I think that's over to you, Ruth, right? Yeah, yeah, a really huge uh, thank you to everyone who stepped up and spoke at this event. I think it really does take quite a lot to speak at events like this in front of your peers. And this year we were really fortunate to have speakers both from within our industry, but also some real uh, market leaders from outside our industry, experts in email deliverability, setting up your own architecture, all kinds of different things. So really a big thanks to all the people who stepped up and spoke. A lot of them because people pestered them and said, hey, submit a session, we want you to speak. Um, so you'll see some of them on the slide here. There's so many of you, I had to do three slides. Oops, sorry, I, I missed one. So um, yeah, big, big thank you. The videos are available on Instant Replay because I know when you've got three tracks running in parallel or four today, it's never possible to watch all the things you want to watch because there's always something that clashes. The plus side is that you can actually watch them right away. So if you've still got some time in your day, you could just catch up with the replay videos for the sessions that you really wanted to watch. And if you watch them on AirMeet in the replay, you actually get all the comments and the chat and the FA, uh, the Q and A as well. So you okay. can, and all the emojis. Okay, Ruth. Um... How long will that be available and where, where can people find those recordings? Um, so how long will it be available? We can actually turn it on after the event finishes to allow people to come back in and watch the replays. We can't turn that on until the event finishes. Mm. I don't know why. Anyway, so there'll be a few minutes while we turn that setting on. Um, where you can find it is if you go to the schedule and you look at the completed sessions, all of the completed sessions will have a watch replay button. And then you can then click that button and you can watch back the, the replay. Um, what will happen? So that's something that you only get as a ticket holder. So people who aren't ticket holders won't be able to watch them at this time. What will happen is that the video production team already are working on rendering the videos and subtitling them so we can upload them to YouTube. So that probably won't start happening for maybe a week or two. If you want to help with that, we have a process you can follow. We would love to have additional hands on deck. But probably I would say in maybe a week or two, 
you'll start to see those videos coming up on YouTube in playlists so you can watch them and share them publicly and what have you. Um, but if you think there were some really great sessions, I would encourage you to get your mates to buy a ticket because that also helps the Mortic community, that little bit of revenue that we get from the tickets. Because I think the ticket sales are open after the event closes. Sounds a bit counterintuitive, but I think they are. So, yeah. Um, At least people yeah. get access to the recordings. But by Absolutely. The way, just to mention it, uh, I want to congratulate you for, for the push to to move over to Airmeet. I think this tool did a great job, much better than the other times. Yeah. Uh, so many, many pros. And what I particularly like is really the emojis. Uh, that that yeah. feels really good for, Me too. for the speakers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think anyone who has spoken in the past with us on Vietly uh, who had to navigate multiple StreamYard links and mm -hmm. links being changed 10 minutes before your session started will really have appreciated the ease and the flow of this platform. Mm. The other nice thing is that with this annual license, we can also use it for meetups. So meetup groups can also make use of this technology on a smaller scale for the meetups. Mm. Um, I think you've used that, haven't you, Eki, as well for your uh, German language speaking session? Absolutely, yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. So true. Yeah. True. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be without its faults. There are a few quirks that we found, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It is. So. It is. It is. The other observation yeah. that I made was that among the spe speakers and among the audiences, uh, we we did have more women than last time. So that that I think is is a really improvement. Real improvement. Yeah. I mean, given that yeah, we're definitely. very global, we are pretty diverse by nature. And I think mm -hmm. we're also a very welcoming culture in the community. Mm. So, so that, that is really what we want to achieve. But to, to yeah. see that actually happen is a good sign. And I, I would say, I, let, let's keep on that track and, and, and yeah. push, push even harder Absolutely. in that direction. And also, so in the panel today, we had a panel on community contribution and how we can encourage people to contribute. And we were talking about mentoring. And I think also if someone thinks like they would like to speak at one of these events, but you've never spoken at an event before, we have so many people in the community who would be up for helping you out and mentoring you and helping support you to do your first presentation at a conference like this. So, yeah, don't hold back, especially if you've never done it before, especially if you're like people like me don't speak at conferences. You know, that was me 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, yeah, do raise your hand. Um, we're here to help. Um, yeah. Do just reach out to us. Yeah, and honestly, every one of us is still nervous every single time, and especially, uh, especially the first time, you will be very nervous. But having done that, you will survive it, I promise. And it's such a great feeling <laughs> to, to have that behind you. Uh, uh, and yeah. the video is on YouTube. You can even send it to your dearest and nearest nearest and dearest yeah. and say look here i am on youtube yeah, yeah but you don't have to <laughs> but you don't have to you can just be like yeah i'll do better next time if it didn't yeah. go so well yeah yeah, yeah. okay um, very last observation great. from my side speaking of diversity i never heard yeah. so many dogs barking <laughs> in the background <laughs> and also i know we have some cats in the community i wonder what that says about the mordic world <laughs> Yeah, I think we need to have a pets channel on Slack so we can share pictures oh. of our pets. Oh Definitely. my god, <laughs> that's the next step. You will okay. get pictures of my cats, they've been locked out of the room for the last two days, so I'm not going to be oh. a very popular cat mother. Um, mm -hmm. anyway, we should probably get back on topic, otherwise, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. the other thing I just wanted to say is although we did not have many sponsors, we did have like for digital marketing and Drop Solid, who are sponsors for this event. So, a big thank you to them uh, for helping us out and supporting us with our website. For example, Drop Solid are fantastic at responding to my I've broken something in Drupal emails, <laughs> 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 or, or my menu has just disappeared. Uh, so, yeah, huge thank you. And we would love to see your names on this list next time. So please do think about becoming a sponsor for, for our next event. Yeah, so we do have some exciting news. And over to Eki for the exciting news that everybody's sitting on the edge of their seats waiting for. Yeah, well, you just said the next event. There are many events in the Mordic world, but we do have the next Mordic conference coming up. And uh, as we already talked about we did not yet decide where that should be we know when that would be november 
but we had multiple suggestions from around the world, from, from Asia to Africa to North America and to South America. The only thing excluded this time was Europe because the last on-premise uh, in-person event was in Belgium, which is still in Europe, uh, other than UK. Well, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, we, we did some steps behind the scenes. We, we did some negotiations with those on, on premise. And uh, I think we have a really attractive solution and uh, maybe Ruth, you can hit the button now. There you it is. It uh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so um, the next Mordic, Mordic conference will be called Mordic Conference South America. It will be in Sao Paulo in Brazil. So main language will be Portuguese, but we have good capabilities of live translation on premise. So basically this, this event is for South America as the name says. So the main translation will be in Spanish, but it, there will also be English translation of the main track. And um, that means everybody else can already make their travel plans. I think the flights are not too expensive. I mean, that's still, still bad for, for climate, but, but um, if you want to give a talk on premise, I promise you it's a great thing to do that. I mean, I did love this online conference, but it's a co completely different animal, of course, to do that on premise. And um, Sao Paulo, thank you already for the, the various people who are in the organization team now, and we will share the details very soon, of course. Yeah, I'm super excited because we have such a huge community in Brazil. There's so many passionate people um, who want to get involved with Mautic and use Mautic. It's such a great opportunity for Mautic because marketing automation, it's like people just get it. They just seem to get it in South America like they don't in other regions of the world. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, and if people wanted to join the team, so if you're based in Brazil and you'd like to join the team, um, do message us on Slack in uh, Morticon, hash Morticon, if you want to get involved in that team and we can get you onboarded, whether you want to help on the day or be involved with some aspect of running the show or the AV or whatever. Uh, it does take a village to run these kind of events. So, yeah. yeah. And as we just saw, we have, we have those different teams, marketing and design and, and program and all. You don't necessarily have to be on premise. To, to be part mm -hmm. of the organization. If you are interested in doing a tiny little piece of this organization, um, you're very welcome regardless uh, of where in the world you are. So please do get in touch. Yeah. And uh, we need all sorts of skills in the team. Absolutely. So, so. that's it for another year. <laughs> mm. Ruth, it was a blast. Thank you very much personally yeah. uh, for being the last resort in all those emergencies <laughs> and for making this all possible. You're most welcome. And thank you everyone once again for coming. Thank you everyone who's volunteered. And yeah, let's keep making Mautic awesome. Hope to see you again soon at the next event. Exactly. All right, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.